Good morning, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Heather, I'm a songbird stamper and I'm back with you again today to show you how to make this cute little project. It's um, actually made from half an acetate box, one of Stampin' Up's acetate boxes and it just holds these mini samplers perfectly and it's fabulous, decorated up. Um, I'm going to be giving these away as gifts this year but um, you could do all sorts with these. You put anything in them really. I've just chosen to put some little chocolate samples in them for you today. I'm going to show you how to make that one. It's really simple, it's really quick um, and it just starts with a small piece of cardstock and this is 15.1 centimetres by 5.1 centimetres and I'm just going to score it now on all four sides at 1.7 centimetres. All the measurements for this will be over on my blog so you don't need to worry about scribbling them all down just head to the description below and you'll find a link straight to the post with um, all the pictures all the information there for you so that's all the um, cutting and scoring that we need to do because i've already cut my acetate box so i'm hoping you can see this this is um, a long um, acetate box but i've chopped it in half and all i did was i measured from the top of the box this is where the top of the box is going to be again i'm hoping you can see this on the camera you've got flaps at the top two flaps and then your actual box starts here and i've trimmed that at 8.25 centimeters or that's three and a quarter inches and then that will give you two i had to use my big um carl cutter though to cut it so um you might need to use a craft knife that would be another way of doing it on a on a cutter I'm not convinced our stamp and trimmer will um, be man enough for the job, let's say. It's quite thick to go through some of these seams. But, um, yep, just chop it in half. And then you fold it up to make the box up just by folding these um, score lines that are already there for us. Love these. Stamping up does some really great boxes. They do these ones and they do um, and lots of other clear and acetate boxes as well. Um, making their packaging really easy so just folding that on those lines and then that one is just going to tuck in to make the closure to our box there but obviously it needs a lid and that's what we're going to create today we're going to make a nice lid for that box so we've scored on that uh, 1.7 on all four sides i'm just going to fold and burnish those score lines that I'm going to trim them and what I'm going to do is go round in a circle so I'm going to trim that one and notch it in and then I'm going to go and do the next one so I'm just spinning the card round and what that means is that all four will be stuck to different sides of the box and I'll show you why that is in a second So you can see that one there is going to stick to that side and that one there is going to stick to that side. And the reason for that, if I had another flap, if this flap was actually cut the other way and was coming onto this bit as well as this bit, it would make it too thick on that end. So you need to cut it in a, in a round circle so that it looks a little bit like that. And then just pop some glue on all four of those tabs. Glue all the way up to the edges when you when you glue these, especially these 3D projects that are going to get a bit of handling. You know, somebody might put it in a, in a stocking um, and it doesn't want to have loose bits on it that are going to come apart. So try and glue all the way up to the edges. That's been my biggest tip. Spread it around if you need to. start my Christmas shopping really. It's that time of year. It comes around quite quickly doesn't it? And then you just fold the tab in, line up the edges because we've kept everything straight so we haven't notched any of the top edges so you need to keep that one straight and keep that top edge straight as well. Hold it for a couple of seconds, let that glue adhere.
Okay, and all I've got is a piece of DSP, designer series paper. This is actually from the celebration papers, so it is retired, but I don't think it really matters. I'm hoping it doesn't matter to you guys. Um, you can use whatever piece of paper that you've got. Need to watch that now, I've got a sticky piece of grid paper. It's going to stick nicely on the front there. Actually, I'm going to spin my lid around. Just I'm turning my grid paper over because it's got that sticky bit on it. Um, the, can you see the flap down the bottom here? Yeah, that's going to be the back of the box. So actually, I'm going to want my lid that way around. And then I'm going to wrap a piece of twine around it. So I've got this gorgeous gold twine. I'm going to pop a glue dot on before I start though. And that's going to help me keep this in place. So my glue dots. These are all back to front now if anybody gets stamping up glue dots. I'm going to have to learn a new way of working. And I'm going to pop that about there. They used to be on the other side. There we go. And then we can just wrap the twine around. So I need to keep enough to keep to tie a bow. It's probably about right. Just wrap that round and then enough to tie a bow on this other side. You can measure yours much more precisely. I'm just trying to be quick guys here on the camera so you don't have to listen to me all day and then tie a little bow. That glue dot just helps um, keep everything in place while you tie the bow. Acts as that third finger. Although I probably should have stamped and done my little tag first. Obviously you can see we've got a lucky little tag on here. Um, so let's undo that one there. So where's my little tag come from? That's from the pretty pillow box dies and it cuts out this gorgeous little tag and in this tidings and trimmings stamp set there's a few little stamps which are just perfect. So I've got the to and the from and the season's greetings. To and from is um, one stamp as well. So that's just the season's greetings and the to and from. I'm going to stamp those in real red. No idea if there's enough room there to write to and from who it's from, but there we go. Um, season's greetings at the bottom. And then that will slot onto our twine. And then I can tie the bow. And the bow then will hold the little tag in place. And it's quite handy because this bow is not part of the um, kind of design. It's just stuck onto the lid. You can trim those down to however you want them to be. And then the lid just comes off and on really nicely. That's it. So there's our little project. I told you it was quick and easy. Um, you can fill that with whatever you want and you are good to go. Like I say, all the measurements will be over on my blog with all the instructions. And um, I'll be back in a few days with another project for you. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and uh, bye for now.